Hey traders, this is Tosh Bradley. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club MIC community. Right now, we have a very special holiday discount sale going on for MIC members or anybody wanting to join. We have $200 off our annual yearly package and we have an unprecedented $1,000 off our lifetime package. And we are raising prices going into the new year. So if you want to take advantage of these discounts, they are only good and only available right now until December 31st. Take advantage. We will definitely, definitely be raising prices soon. Hey, everyone. I was sitting here in my office this morning, and I thought it would be valuable to share this with you on how I actually go into um, a kind of a theory and test it. And so... What I want to catch you up to speed on here is that I'm doing a, a, a study about the pivot points on large caps. Okay, so let me catch you up to speed here really quick. Um, this is the data, okay, that I collected from uh, from uh, Python, and all I've done is sort this data out. And what I've done is I've collected the first day data the volume the next day after this first day so I'm looking and studying continuation plays much like low-hanging fruits and I'm studying them for gaps up and gaps down long and short okay so I've sorted them out in two categories and let's go back to gaps down here this little study here is uh, let me just remove this formula Okay, so I can go through this. So, uh, the data is all here. I've sorted it out. These are all my gaps down. This is the percentage of gaps down. Um, I could average that stuff out if I wanted to, but now I've programmed in the actual pivot points for those stocks. So that formula I collected from Thinkorswim uh, the pivot point study that we give everyone, this is that study. So these are the formulas right here. So pivot point R1, R2, R3, R4, S1, S2, and 3. I just followed this stuff right here. And, you know, pH is prior high, PL, P low, PC, prior close, and then so on and so forth. P, P is the pivot point itself, and uh, so on and so forth. So what I've done now is I've programmed all of these, and what I'm going to do is for the ones that open below the pivot point itself, I want to study what the odds are that the pivot point is broken, and broken as in to the upside. So, But what I want to study is if it opens below the pivot point, what are the odds that it breaks that pivot point with meaning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reference this R1. So basically my initial risk or high of day, new or the total high of day is going to be like, if I'm referencing the pivot point, I'm going to use the next resistance line at R1. If I'm re referencing R1, I'm going to reference R2 and so on and so forth. So um, those formulas, all I've done is you start at the pivot point right here like this. And so I think the easiest way to do this is going to be kind of like color code these for you guys so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Um, so we can, for me, on pivot points, I always use, uh, I like like a purple, like this color, like that. That's my pivot point. Uh, resistances, I generally tend to go towards uh, red on those. Or do I red? Yeah, red. Yeah, red. Uh, red on those, so we'll go, whoops, uh, let's go in shades here. So, let me try to get some colors here set up. Just bear with me. In this video, I'm going to kind of jump around, uh, so a lot of the things I'm going to kind of edit out uh, if it isn't very useful, or uh, if, so if it seems like the video is skipped forward a lot, don't worry about it, I'm just skipping out my mindless uh, <laughs> jabbering as I go through this and work through it in my head. So I'm just going to go ahead and select my colors here. And 
And then S1, S2, S3, S4. Let's go pick a green color. We'll go with that green. So these are our supports. These are our resistances. And this is our pivot point itself. And we're referencing the high here. So this is kind of like our, that's our reference point. And uh, so let's let's kind of work through this here. Um, and let me do something so everybody can kind of denote what I'm doing here. So there's your columns. And then let me underline all these words so you can see. Uh, there's some borders. And, I don't know, I don't really like the borders. All right, so now you can really see where where we're going with, where we're going here. So now we've denoted whether it opens below the pivot or not. But if it opens below the pivot, we get a yes. Okay, so <coughs> what I wanna know is if it opens below the pivot, is that pivot point broken? Okay, so what we have to do is we have to do a logic test. So we have to do if this cell equals yes then and this is going to be some monotonous excel so but you know this is valuable stuff if you want to do your own studies and kind of give yourself an idea on whether there is an edge here to pursue or not that's not what we're we're not trying to create an algo we're just trying to define whether there's edge um, and whether we should pursue this idea or not so uh, equals yes if that cell equals yes then we are going to do if um, if the high of the day right here our reference cell is greater than r1 then put a yes if not put no and if that is false, do nothing. So we get a no. Next cell, obviously you see the opens below pivot point. And you just kind of have to look at these also. The pivot point, was it broken? The pivot point was 75.93. The high of the day on day two was 75.60. Okay, I really don't like how this has a red. I just don't like that. It throws me off. Okay, so this is working. All right, now let's go to a pivot point below. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.